Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing identifying changes that are useful and harmful in the environment. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. The learning task in the previous lessons will help you to identify the changes in materials whether useful or harmful to one's environment which is the focus of this lesson. The immediate place where you are exposed to is your environment. There are interactions that lead to changes in the materials found in our home and in our environment. Seas are the habitat or, or environment for fish and other marine organisms. The playground has some benches and slides where you may rest or play. These materials making up the environment are always changing. When land or bodies of water are dumped where garbage of any kind such as plastic bottles, plastic bags, chemicals, and toxics from companies, the land and bodies of water become polluted. Land and water pollution are not useful in the environment. Water pollution is very harmful because the fish will be harmed as their habitat will be destroyed. Trees, when cut, can be harmful because some animals live on trees. This will also cause flood in the area. It causes soil erosion, loss of habitat to animals, rapid change in temperature, and affects the quality of air that we breathe. Polluted land serves as breeding places for flies, cockroach, rats, this pest carry germs that cause diseases, hence hazardous to one's health. The harmful effects of changes in the environment are oftentimes caused by human activities. Burning of garbage such as plastic materials, rubber, and other wastes is harmful also to the environment. Many items in household garbage when burned release dangerous toxic materials that contribute to global warming. However, there are changes in the environment that are found to be useful. The flowering of trees in fru into fruits, utilization of leftover foods into compost. The use of animal manure for fertilizers and the recycling and 
Upcycling of different local materials are helpful to keep the environment clean and more adaptable for human, plants, and animals to live. This will lead to activities in food production and maintenance of a clean and green environment. Let's do this. There are human activities that are either useful or harmful in the environment. Complete the table below by examining the situation or picture. Burning of garbage Useful or harmful? This is harmful. The effect in the environment is air pollution. This is planting of vegetable in a vacant lot. This is a useful thing and effect in the environment is provides healthy foods. The next picture is cutting of trees. This is harmful and the effect in the environment is causes floods and soil erosion. Let's do this. Draw a happy face if the given situation states changes in the materials that are useful in the environment and sad face if it is states harmful effect. Cutting and shaping pieces of food use lumber into chair. This is a happy face. Water on rivers and streams become contaminated with plastic wasted waste. This is sad face. Lung infections and other respiratory diseases become rampant due to excessive smoke from factories and motorized vehicles. This is sad face. Recycling of waste for organic fertilizers. This is a happy face. Dumping of garbage in bodies of water. This is a sad face. Cutting of trees in the community. This is a sad face. Vegetable gardening. This is a happy face. Flowering of trees for early onset of fruiting. This is a happy face. Clean up drive in the community. This is a happy face. Flies, cockroaches, and rats breed on garbage thrown on the street. This is a sad face. Let's do this. What kind of pollution is described in each situation? Air pollution, water pollution, or land pollution? Farmers can no longer harvest vegetables. This is a land pollution. Red tide is affecting the northern coast of the country. This is 
a water pollution. The smell of the garbage is suffocating the villagers. This is air pollution. Mine tilling are thrown in rivers. This is a water pollution. Garbage is thrown in empty spaces in residential areas. This is a land pollution. Factories release harmful smoke. This is air pollution. Chicken manures release foul odor all over the town. This is a air pollution. Villagers dump their trash on a vacant lot at the back of the school. This is a land pollution. Fishermen use dynamite while fishing. This is water pollution. Using detergent soap while washing clothes in the river. This is a water pollution. Let's do this. Identify the following changes that will happen in the materials in each activity or situation. Tell whether they are useful or harmful in the environment. Cutting of trees. This is harmful. Shaping of woods to make furniture. This is useful. Hammering or shaping iron to make a ball. This is useful. Burning of old tires. This is harmful. Shredding paper for paper mache. This is useful. Cooking of food. This is useful. Throwing detergent into the sewage. This is harmful. Killing animals in the forest. This is harmful. Sewing fabric to make clothes. This is useful. Dumping garbage into the river. This is harmful. Always remember Environment provides us all with so many wonderful and useful things, from beautiful sights to food and shelter, to maintaining the delicate balance necessary to sustain life on this planet. We need to take care of our environment to have a better place to live in. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.